Okay, so from last time's video, I showed you guys how you can bake an ID map based on vertex color, right? Using the bake my mesh maps, right? So we use the vertex color last time when we baked our object. Okay. Now this is an ID that I got from my trim, right? And what I see over here is if I see my entire mesh, right? If I switch off all my colors that I just laid out, right? So this is my normal map that I have. Right. Now, sometimes from ZBrush, uh, we may have an error whenever we create uh, or we bake our normal maps in Substance Painter. Right. And those errors will mostly come with the tiles. Right. So sometimes you guys may sculpt slightly a bit off from there, or the wrap mode may not be on by mistake. Or you guys must have made some mistake or another. Right. Which can happen very naturally. So what I want to show you guys is how you can fix those problems you know, without really. Not uh, really going through or re sculpting those guys again. Okay, so what I have is I have a bake here. Uh, so this is a normal map that, that you can see. So I can see my, you can see my bake maps. Uh, so this is my normal map. Now here I can't really see much uh, whether it's good or bad bake, right? I mean, it is a good bake because I do see this nice information that has been uh, baked on top of it. And uh, using the ID map, I did sort of block out my different parts of. Um, my my so-called texture, all right? Um, so this is what I did uh, from from the initial phase. Okay. Now usually what I like to do is before I get too crazy with the texturing, I always like to check my normal map whether it's fine or not before I move on um, to texture. It. So what I like to do is I like to go back to Maya and uh, check it out. All right. So what I have is I have a file in Maya. All right. Uh, all I did was created a Lambert. All right. This is a Lambert. Right, I call it not fix. So uh, in this bum mapping, I just created a new bum map. Right, so you guys can see if I create a new bum map, I can create a file. Right, that file I'm going to use a tangent space normal map, and from the uh, from this bump value, I'll read the normal map that I have. Right? So I exported out from Substance Painter this normal map. So you guys can come to File, Export Textures. And you can export out this normal map information. Right? Just click export and you'll be fine. Right based on your location. Okay. So what I have is inside Maya is I just I just connected that normal map to my Lambert material. Now so far it looks fine, right? There's not much difference. But once I sort of uh, duplicate this plane uh, more than once, right, that's when I start seeing there's a problem. Right. So this will be a tile trim, right? So these are all tiles. And what you see is uh, the stones are intentionally, uh, they have this uh, bump over here, right, to, to so-called in, intentionally uh, make it look like there are two stones, one on this side and one on the other side. Okay. So what you can see over here is there's this slight line, right, so let's say these are the first three gold materials that we are making, right, so around these three gold materials, you'll see that there's this sort of a bump over here. Right now, this bump is not that good because uh, in our ZBrush file, it wasn't exactly the same in our left and right side. Right, so from that side was not exactly the same as the one behind. Right, so that's the three mistakes are there on the, on the first three. Right, this, the the fourth and the fifth are intentional, so we leave it that way. Right, the fifth, sixth, and seven also we need to make them tolerable because that's our plan. That's what we that's how we plan from the very beginning. Right, to make the first tree, right, skip the next two, and then the next tree, make them tileable. Right? So I yeah. Huh? Hey. What? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you found it. Hmm. I'm doing something. Wait. All right, I'm back. Um. So, as I was saying, um, I have to leave off. Um. So we got the error over there, right? So we're just gonna see how we can fix the error, right? On the first tree, um, 
leaving the next two, so four and five is leaving, six, seven, eight, we continue fixing this. Right. So the fix for that is inside of Photoshop, what I have is I import this normal map inside Photoshop and this is a DirectX normal map so we can see the green is underneath because uh, DirectX is the opposite of OpenGL format. So if I come to other and what I use is unuse this offset value. Now I need to know my image size for this. Now my image size is 4096 by 4096. Right. This image size is telling me that, um, okay this is a 4K map. Right. So what the offset will do is, what I wanted to do is, I want to offset it horizontally, right? so you can see this horizontal offset and this vertical offset. Right. What I want to do is, I want to, or, I want to offset it by half. Right. So half of 4098 is 204846, yeah. right. so that should give you uh, technically exactly half of uh, 4096, sorry, right. so 4096. Uh, 2048, uh, 4K map, 2K map, whatever. Right. So what, what we can see is uh, once we zoom in, we can sort of see that in a normal map, we sort of get this arrow, right? This line that is pinched over here. Right. Now we want these two inten intentional ones over here, and we want to fix the rest of the tree. Right. So one way to fix that is let's say I duplicate my layer. What I have is I can just come to this spot, um, spot heating brush. Right. I can just come to this file, and I can sort of paint this around. Right, depending on my breast size, so I can increase the hardness if I want. Right, that was a sort of blend them together. Right, and I can do this. Uh, you know, I can spend time doing this. I can use the clone tool. You know, there are all types of tools inside Photoshop, but I find this one to be the fastest. Right? Um, so if I come here, and I see if I just start blending them in. So these three are uh, sort of give a nice blend from here. Right, and that sort of fixes it. Then you just you just have to manually fix these small ones. These small ones are sometimes a bit too difficult. Um, it won't work super perfectly. And then you can keep fixing it um, the way you want to fix it. Right. So first tree, you know, first tree. Uh, just be careful with the corners because uh, you need that for the information. Right. So I only I only sort of um, did a fix. Right. Um, did a very simple fix over here. Nothing that great. Right. And after I did this, right, uh, all I le left to do is, is to off unoffset them back. So come to your filter, other offset, and just you know use the same value. So that will go back to its initial position, right? So I'll save this, right? So I'll save it as a normal map file, right? So let's see if I can go here, right? So I'll save this as my good normal map. Okay. Um, I'll save it as JPEG, and inside of Substance Painter, what I'll do is I will re-import this guy back in. Right, so which I already did it. I already did the process, right? And after I re-import that in, right, I'll rebake all my guys, right? Except you know these guys, the one that need three D, right? Uh, I mean we can't really help that, but at least we're gonna rebake these guys that are not having the symbol. Um, I don't really, I don't really need thickness now, but I'm gonna rebake these guys based on the normal map that we have, right? So it should read that information, and then you should get this sort of thing. Right, so the curvature should be the normal map, right? And everything else will be fine. Right? So that's how you sort of fix the problem uh, that you guys get uh, from baking, right? From ZBrush to Substance Painter when you guys bake it out. Okay. And I, I think it will happen. Uh, you will get some slight pinches if you do it in ZBrush, especially if you're like me and if you forget to switch on symmetry or you forget to uh, switch on your wrap mode. Uh, it does happen that quite a while, at least for me, it happens a lot. I do forget this kind of stuff, right? But um, I think it's a very easy fix. I think it'll not take you more than 10, 15 minutes to fix this, guys, right? But I think ZBrush gets you pretty close, right, to get the trim set done, right? And from here onwards, it'll just be just pure texturing. Now, last video, I did mention um, that it'll be a time lapse, so I'd rather put the time lapse after this because I think this is important to tell you guys about, right? So, Hopefully you guys um, understand this, right? At least you understand uh, where I'm coming from. And inside of Maya, you know, once you sort of fix it, right, there won't be an issue, right? And if you see over here, you know, it's perfectly fine. So I already attached a new normal map for this case. You can see that they're blending pretty well, right? So that later on when I duplicate and when I, you know, snap it around, you can see that these two are intentionally, they look like slabs. 
and the rest of them look like they are one continuous tile. Right? Now in the future I did remove out the star because the star did not really help out uh, but that is in later the layout process. Right? So I don't really record that so I did it the same way inside Photoshop. Right? So this is just heads up kind of thing. Um, so I did sort of take the star and I just removed those guys in. Right? So these are just a small thing that I did later on uh, because it didn't really work out. So don't be surprised if you, know, you guys uh, see the geometry being the star. So later on when I bend these guys, what happened was the star was bending too. Right? So I realized that it was getting deformed and it was taking too much polycons. So I might as well make it a new geometry. Right? And you know, just use any, since it's a very small piece, and you don't really see, no one will see so much. You know, I think it's fine. Right? So hopefully uh, you guys sort of understand this, um, right? understand the process, understand the pipeline. All right. And Hopefully, yeah, you, know, you guys learn some stuff. Alright, so see you around. Bye bye.